Yeah, no, I was just wondering, you know, here's the elephant in the room. The fact that you got drafted to the Dallas Stars, and I think that's what I'm going to title uh, this video here. So I just want wanted you to take us through that, sort of if you knew that was going to happen leading up to the draft, if you had talked to a few teams, like how did it end up being Dallas? How did you find out? Let's just go through that because it's the elephant in the room here. Yeah, it was actually kind of an unorthodox uh, story. So about a week before, I I'd probably talked to like 20 teams uh, out of the 30, and Nothing was really too concrete. You know, I was a second year eligible guy uh, and already being a late birth year. So I'm already two years older than some of the other guys, which is uh, negative in uh, a lot of scout size. But, um, you know, I was talking to my agent. He's like, you know, you, you got a pretty good chance, but it's not, not 100% at all. So, uh, you know, I was just going in kind of thinking if I, if I get drafted, great. If I don't, great. Just, you know, use it as, as fuel like I have in the past. And um, I was actually at the Brock Four Rowing Club working out. Um, <laughs> I just just about head home because my dad told me to be home for the whenever the fifth round started. So right at the beginning of the fourth, I was just getting ready to leave, and um, I was with my buddy James Matt at the time, and grew up with him. So uh, that was pretty cool. And I got a text from my agent. He just said, "Congrats!" And I checked the NHL uh, uh, the website there, and my name was was right there at one fifteen. So uh, I was pretty pretty emotional uh, being there with uh, with James, and we had, we had a good embrace there. Um, yeah, and I just just rushed home from there and saw my family and my mom and dad were, were both there and obviously it was uh it was a very special moment for me and my family i, I sorry Harry, but I, I started looking I, I was curious because you know fourth round and uh, i think your your agent mentioned I, I read that he was kind of expecting between five and seven so fourth round i wanted to look up since 2010 i'm going to list off some players for you a couple notable players here um Started with Kunakel, Don Scoy, JGP, Riley, uh, Mike Riley, Johnny Gaudreau, Eric Gustafson, Brett Kulak, Andreas Athanasiu, Jacob Slavin, Miles Wood, Stanley Cup champion Nick Paul and Devin Taves, Ryan Graves, and at your pick, Alex Carrier at 115, and two picks later, Caleb Jones are all some names that I was reading off in the fourth round. And uh, that gives you a lot of... Lot of a lot of momentum going forward when you're reading those names going for in the fourth round. Yeah, for sure. You see a uh, good draw in there. Hopefully I'll be uh, signing a big ticket like him. Someday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just don't turn down jersey if you're doing it, please. Yeah. yeah. 70 million wouldn't be too bad. Eh, I guess. No. Yeah, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be good for the bank. <laughs> no kidding. So uh, Gavin, who did you talk to uh, in the stars organization? organization when uh when you found out did you talk to jim nil did you talk to steve Greeley? who did you talk to and uh how did that conversation go uh yeah actually on my on my ride back from uh from the gym um uh the guy named joe mcdonald their their uh, head scout uh called me in the car and just said you know congratulations we're really happy to see you um and obviously last week i was in dallas for development camp so He's like, you know, there's a quick turnaround here. We'll probably get you on a flight maybe either tomorrow or, or the next day. And I was like, you know, let's thank you for the opportunity, obviously. And, um, yeah, I just I talked to him and a couple other um, director of hockey ops guys. And um, I haven't talked to Nil yet, um, but I'm assuming I will at, uh, when it comes down to main camp in uh, September. 